Only a month before former child pop star Aaron Carter would be found dead in his house in Lancaster, California, he had listed his property in sale in the hopes of starting what he referred to as a new chapter. You might notice that right off of the top of that tweet, Aaron referred to this residence as his second home. That's because his first was a two-story stucco house also located about an hour north of Hollywood in Antelope Valley. Originally constructed in 1997, Aaron's first Lancaster home is more or less your typical suburban spread that boasts three bedrooms, three bathrooms, and right around 2,680 square feet of living space. Carter purchased this home in October 2018 for $430,000. After tweeting about his need to get away from something he referred to as Backstreet Boys Gang Stalkers, individuals who would surround his previous home late at night and were often recorded doing so on his security systems. Um, I just had another person come in and try to say that they wanted to uh, come into my house. Um, my uh, my credit cards are, are stolen. My license is gone. Um, can't find any of my stuff. After he switched things up, Aaron's new home came blessed with not only zero stalkers, but an open floor plan featuring accent walls that set some individually purposed spaces apart. In both the living area and the formal dining room, high ceilings could be found, as well as laminate wood floors that run throughout most of the home, giving it a comforting and cozy feeling. Speaking of cozy, another highlight in the living room is most definitely the warm fireplace set just underneath a large widescreen TV. That space flows directly into the kitchen that's been upgraded with stainless steel appliances, granite countertops, a pantry, and plenty of rustic looking cabinets for ample storage. Oh, and there's also a charming little window seat just off to the side to enjoy some views with a cup of coffee. Heading upstairs, there's a multi-purpose loft on the right hand side that Aaron transformed into a recording studio of sorts with a drum kit and other instruments alongside the necessary recording equipment. Then you'll find the master suite nearby that boasts an ensuite bathroom that includes a double sinks, a tub, a custom glass shower, and a large walk-in closet. The home also has two additional bathrooms that are located up on the second floor. And according to page six, Aaron had upgraded during his time here. Rounding things out is the property's big backyard that's fleshed out with a small polo field as well as an attached pergola covered entertainment area and swimming pool. Something that's basically a necessity given the home's close location to the Mojave Desert. After chilling in this gorgeous home for about two years, Aaron would sell this property in November 2020, collecting 600k for the sale. That same month, he would pick up a new residence in the very same town. Having made himself a small profit on the sale of his former California home, Aaron invested all of that capital plus an extra 20k on a brand new seven bed, four bathroom Lancaster property. He made the plunge in November of 2020 and within three months, Aaron would already be listing his new digs apparently looking to move on. Eventually, however, he'd remove the listing and move in, enjoying the home's 4,131 square feet for himself. Out front, you'll discover a lawn surrounded by palm trees and a garage with enough room for four vehicles to park comfortably nearby. Then there's the interior that boasts sought after amenities like laminate flooring, upgraded light fixtures, recessed lighting, vaulted ceilings, and large picture windows. In terms of living spaces, this new home features a little bit of everything. Not only does it include a family room with a great corner sofa, but it also has its very own music studio as well as a small home theater for entertainment purposes and a glam formal living room located in between the front foyer and the nearby dining room. In the roomy kitchen, there's a breakfast bar, granite countertops, and a large walk-in pantry, along with some panoramic views of the property's stunning backyard. The home Home's multiple bathrooms all boast a white finish with wooden cabinets as well as tubs and showers in each. Meanwhile, upstairs, the home's primary bedroom is highlighted by a sitting area featuring traditional plush cream furnishings in front of a fireplace. But the highlight of the property has definitely got to be the home's custom-made in-ground pool and spa combo that's surrounded by a stone finish. All in all, Aaron's new family home was the perfect place for a growing family, which Aaron was in the process of creating for himself at the time with his on-again, off-again fiance, Melanie Martin, and their newborn baby boy, Prince. 
Aaron would spend the next two years of his life living here, but then in September 2022, he once again decided to list the home for $829,000. He'd eventually lower the asking price by about $30,000 while informing his fan base that he was ready for a new chapter to begin in a third home with his beautiful new family. He finished his message by thanking everyone for the support that they had provided for him over the years. But sadly, Aaron would never get a chance to buy that third home. On November 5th, 2022, Aaron Carter was found dead in the bathtub of his Lancaster property after being discovered by his housekeeper, who reportedly ran from the house shouting. Soon enough, 911 was called and paramedics would arrive to witness what's been described as a quote unquote chaotic scene with police cars, news vans, and people crowding around the streets in an attempt to see what had happened. To this point in time, authorities have suggested that Aaron drowned in his home's bathtub and law enforcement would tell TMZ that there were multiple cans of compressed air found around his bathroom and bedroom, as well as his prescription pills. It's still not clear if those played a role in what happened Happened, but obviously it certainly suggests it. Police also believe that Aaron had been left in the tub for a long period of time. As you would no doubt imagine, following the news of his passing, Aaron's friends, family, and fans all reacted in heartbreak across social media, including his fiance Melanie, who posted a two second clip of herself crying on TikTok. But for every person that's now mourning Aaron's death, there's also a collective group of people who seem to be relieved. Well, maybe only Aaron's next door neighbors. Many of them apparently had issues with him during his relatively short time living at Valley Vista. One neighbor would say, Aaron was just arrogant. He thought he was better than everyone else in the neighborhood. He would brag about how he had better vehicles and his house was larger than most in the area. There was also reportedly fighting constantly coming from the house. According to reports, you could often hear Aaron arguing with Melanie throughout all hours of the day. As for the future of Aaron's Lancaster, California property, its listing is still active, but I can't imagine potential owners will be wanting to buy it after it became Aaron's final resting place. But I guess we'll just have to wait and see. For now, however, that's gonna bring this latest and sad house tour to a close. Thanks for watching today's episode, and before you head out, ask yourselves this question. If you live next to a famous celebrity, would you put up with any nuisances or would you hold them to the same standard as everyone else? Let me know your thoughts on that and leave your condolences for Aaron Carter and his loved ones in the comments down below. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. My name is Kara the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat further and I'll see you all on another house tour. Bye.